All right, my beautiful followers, good morning and welcome to today's class. In today's class, we're going to continue from where we stopped um, in our previous video. Um, the last time, we explained the principle of operation of a thermal overload relay, and we installed it here, and we were able to achieve a protection against overload for our electric motor or against overcurrent. So, having achieved that, we need to go a bit, uh, one step further, trying to protect this motor from phase failure. And for us to achieve that, we're going to be using this device, which is called phase failure device. This particular device is designed in such a way that when you connect L1, L2, L3, and then neutral here of your three phase system, if any of them fails, this guy using the relay that is located here, whose terminals are here, is going to disconnect the power going to your electric motor. So what I mean is, when you connect your red, yellow, blue phases here, and then your neutral, if any of these phases fails, or if two of them fails, with the help of this relay, it's going to disconnect the power going to your contactor, and then it will de-energize this contactor, thereby disconnecting the power that goes to your electric motor. So what we're going to do this morning is that we're going to install this phase failure device and then we see how we're going to use it to protect this motor from phase failure. So because of that, I have replaced the circuit breaker we were using yesterday to three different MCBs. So why I did it this way is for us to be able to simulate a phase failure where we can independently switch on the three phases. So while in operation, we could actually put off one of them to simulate phase failure to see whether our phase failure device is going to protect this motor from a phase failure. So let us do our wiring. First of all, we're going to install this device on this rail just close to our contactor. Uh, to do that, we're going to first of all align this hook here on this edge of the rail and then we push it down so that this place will latch on this other side so to do that we insert this like this and we push here down like that and it latches so we can bring it a bit closer to this one all right so to move ahead we are now going to wire these three phases from our source so we're going to get the first wire um, come to um, L1 I'm going to just measure this so we can save on wire so we're going to connect L1 we strip this cable we strip the wire and then we slack out on this guy insert this wire lock it up this is our L3 so we're going to take this wire all the way to L3. So insert this here, and of course, we have to lock it up. All right, so we'll grab the next wire, trim it a little bit, strip here. Lock out on the yellow phase, L2. Insert this wire and lock it up. Then slack out on L2 on our phase failure device. Then clean up this wire a little bit and then insert it on our L2. When that is done, lock it up. So that's locked up. We pick up the remaining wire. We strip it and strip here. And then slack out on L1. 
and start our wire locket. And then we we'll slack out on this one, the L1. When that is done, we insert our wire into L1. And then we we'll lock this up. Okay, so the next thing to do is to pick up another wire which is going to be our neutral. We pick up this blue wire, slack out on this neutral, insert our wire, and then lock it up. So I'm going to pass this wire under here so you can get to our neutral bar. So I'll pass this wire and then slack out on this one. This one, I will insert it here in the neutral bar. So having done that, for us to be able to interrupt the power that goes to this motor when there is a phase failure here, we're going to make use of this wire that supplies the coil of our contactor. So what we're going to do now, remember I told you that pin 2 is the common, pin 1 is the normally closed, while pin 3 is the normally open. And when these three phases are complete, this pin 2 is going to make with pin 3. So what that means is that normally we are supposed to make use of pin 2 and pin 3 to interrupt this motor when there is a phase failure. So for us to achieve that, we're going to cut this wire here we cut this wire here, strip this place, slack out on pin 3, insert our wire and lock it up. And then we we'll pick up this one, strip the wire, slack out on pin 2. and insert this wire and then lock it up. So, having done this, the next thing is to run a quick test. So to do that, we need to switch on this, all of them. So we have them on, and then if you look at this place, we're going to have double green light, meaning the phases are complete and this relay is okay. So let us start our motor. Now our motor is running. So if for some reason one of these phases fails, I'm going to switch off one of these. You see, it has shut down our motor. And if you look at this place, there is no out. It's only on. One green light is gone off. All right? So we'll put it back on. And then we need to start this motor again. So let us simulate a phase failure on this one by switching off this MCB. You see the motor has gone off, one of the LEDs has gone off. So we we'll put it back on and we we'll start our motor. So let us switch off this one to simulate a phase failure on phase three. And then it goes off, we we'll put it back on and then we can start our motor. And then to stop the motor, you press this one. So if you like this video, Please let me know in the comment section. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section as well, or you send me a private message. And of course, do not stop to connect with me for more tips on power. Thank you very much.